Hi everyone. Welcome to the introduction to Google Cloud Study Jams at GDSC ACB. I, Shreya Shri, will be the facilitator of this month-long study jams. By the end of this introduction, all of you would have an idea about what is the cloud, the service it provides, how exactly will we be conducting the sessions and the phases in which it will be conducted in, how it is useful for you, and a little information on how to sign up. I'm sure all of you have a rough idea about what exactly the cloud is, but to understand it better, the cloud refers to servers that are accessed over the internet and software and databases that run on these servers. So cloud servers are located in data centers all over the world by using cloud computing, users and companies do not have to manage these resources themselves, like these physical servers themselves or run the software applications on their own machines. So this cloud enables users to access the same files and applications from any device because the computing and storage takes place on servers in a data center. So instead of locally uh, on our system, it's placed in a central place where everyone can access it. This is why when you log out of your Instagram from one phone and you log in through a different phone, you have all the account is exactly the same. You can access the pictures, the videos, the conversation history. It works similarly, even the cloud email providers like Gmail or Microsoft Office, they work the same way, like um, they have their cloud. And even Google Drive is a very good example. So the Google Cloud consists of a set of physical assets such as computers and hard disks, and even virtual resources like virtual machines. So these are contained in Google's data centers across the globe. In cloud computing, what you might be thinking of as software and hardware products, they become services. So these services provide access to the underlying resources. So now what are these Google Cloud Study Jams about? So Basically, Google Cloud Study Jams are community-run study groups for developer communities that provide hands-on technical training on a wide range of technologies and topics on the Google Cloud platform. These events are hosted by local developers and are free to attend. Participants receive a 30-day free access to the entire Quick Labs catalog. So as a participant, you will learn about the fundamentals of Google Cloud, get access to exclusive courses on the Google Cloud Skills platform for free. You'll be able to upskill your community with booming latest technologies like cloud computing and generative AI, which in turn will expand your learning and make you industry ready. From containerizing applications to creating virtual machines, study jams can be tailored to specific cloud topics and skill levels. Whether you're a beginner developer or interested in machine learning, BigQuery, certification or Kubernetes, there is a track for you. You will learn the fundamental tools and capabilities of Google Cloud with free access to hands-on labs. Now let's understand the phases in which this study jam will be conducted in. We have the learning phase where you'll be able to explore more, more about Google Cloud. Then you will have the building stage where you build a project with whatever you have learned. And finally, you have your polishing stage where your skills are polished to make you industry ready. So now you'll be thinking, OK, so but how exactly is it useful for me? So there are a lot of things. But first of all, the information, the lot of the knowledge you gather would be a lot. It could help you maybe uh, decide what you want to do after you're done with engineering. It might help you choose your career for you. It's also useful. In, being more skilled in a particular domain. So by the end of this program, you can showcase whatever you have learned in your professional network using Google Cloud Hosted Quest and skill badges. So you see the four skill badges here. Here, there are many more. I have just put the most uh, hot ones that everyone likes. So these four skill badges and many more, you could add them to your resume and your profiles like LinkedIn. So this is all about extending an exciting opportunity to students, allowing them to dive headfirst into cloud technology learning. It also gives you an advantage as you'll have the chance to put your learning into action by creating projects on the Google Cloud Console. So that's that's the building phase I talked about before. So you'll be able to actually build stuff after the learning stage. So how will we make it happen? 
So in each GDC chapter, there, is, there would be one facilitator. So the facilitator of this chapter, that's me. We will be hosting study jams on the campus. We will conduct workshops and hands-on sessions. And these sessions will aim at understanding concepts and implementing solutions using the concepts learned. Now, we have to obviously sign up if you want to access all this. So to sign up, there would be a form that would be rolled around. You would have to fill out the form. It will be released on our WhatsApp group and Microsoft Teams. The deadlines would also be mentioned there. So the thing is, if you're not part of the Microsoft Teams or the WhatsApp group, please put a text in the chat right now and our moderator will be sharing it with you. So you could uh, join the groups to keep an eye out on the form. So uh, make sure you always check your Microsoft Teams, GDSC, ASAP channel every day so that you don't miss out the form. Now, the do's and the don'ts of filling the form. So of course, you should make sure the form is filled well. So to make sure, you know, you, you have to pro provide accurate information. So in the form, your Cloud Skills Boost account link, this would be requested. So to, before you fill the form, you have to make a Google a Cloud Skills Boost account link. So this would be requested in the form. You have to make sure you create a new Google Cloud Skill Boost account, and you have to share that link. So this account should be created after 28th August, that is today. Any previous accounts would be rejected. So the new account should be completely new, as in do not explore by yourself. And after the creation of the account, let it remain there. With don't uh, try to do anything with it. Just let it be. So and fill out the form only once. Duplicate entries will be rejected. So now I'll move on to how to create the Cloud Skill Boost account. So if you guys are on your laptops, you could just type in this Cloud Skills Boost dot Google in a new tab. Just type on this Cloud Skills Boost dot Google. Once you type, you get this page. You can just go ahead and click on Join. Once you click on join, you get the form filling your uh, details filling page. So make sure you fill in with your email name and your email ID. For company, you can put Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitam Bengaluru. For password and password confirmation, make sure you remember the password. And yes, you can go ahead and create your account. So for the email, I feel uh, you guys might have a doubt on using your Google Mail or uh, Amrita. So basically, the idea is you need a new Cloud Skill Boost account. So if your Gmail already has a Cloud Skill Boost account, it's better you use Amrita's email ID. All right, moving on. The don'ts. So we covered the do's, now the don'ts. So do not share the link. So we'll be sharing the forms link. So please do not share it on public forums. Just fill the form alone and submit it. So people, whoever shares it, strict action will be taken. So this will impact their participation in the study jams as we have a limit. We have only 150 students per campus. So if you share this uh, forms outside the campus, there would, be, there would be more people joining in and you would miss out on the opportunity because uh, it's the link is different for each campus. So please do not share the link with anyone outside our campus. Also, make sure you provide a new skill boost account link. So this is very important that you make a new account today or tomorrow and fill that link. And make sure when you're filling the link, the link is correct. Just make sure there are no um, mistakes in spelling. Just manually make sure. And also your email address, whichever you're sharing, provide the correct one. Yeah, OK, Shampa, we can continue. Yeah, uh, about making an account, uh... Please don't make one right now. Uh, we'll let you know on the WhatsApp group when you can make the account. It is, it is a, it is a mandate that there's a certain date that we'll get after which you need to make an account. So just hold on for right for now. And the session is mainly for beginners. So if you think you are not great at coding or aren't great at uh, cloud computing, this campaign is exactly for you. So there's no bar on experience right here. About filling the form, the form that we will circulate, it will need you to use your Amrita email ID to fill it. So that that's where the Amrita email ID can be used. About the Cloud Skills platform profile, which she talked about, uh, you could use your Gmail uh, 
Gmail email ID. Make sure it's an ID that didn't have a cloud scale boost account previously, as Shreyashri said. That it only accounts made after a specific date. For example, if I ask you to only accounts made after 29th September will be considered. We'll let you know about the date, where such date later, as soon as we get an intimation. And yeah, this uh, this campaign needs a lot of commitment. The experience is not mandatory. However, you'll have to dedicate hours from your end to complete the task given. From our side, we can give you a kickstart for each topic. We'll have sessions weekly. However, the effort has to be on your side. So if you're ready to dedicate one month for this, uh, you're welcome to join. And and yeah, that would be all for this session. Thank you very much for joining. Have a great day. Goodbye.